Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Asia Karun. If you haven't been here before, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. Uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button before we get started and then follow me on my Instagram. So today we're gonna be talking about Trans America and how it's a scam. Do yourselves a favor and do me a favor and do not spend that $100 that they're telling you is worth your wildest dreams. So if you don't really know what Trans America is, I will tell you right now, it is a scam. I was almost recruited by Trans America. I ended up spending the $100 to work with them or whatever. It was dumb and let me tell you why. Basically how I got wrapped into Transamerica was that I worked at this job that I hated and I quit because it sucked. Um, and I always do my makeup. So at the time, uh, well that day I had like really pretty like pink and orange and yellow tones in my makeup. And this lady walked up to me and she said, you're such a great server. I really appreciate your patience with us. Um, you, I can tell that you're the kind of person that is just a go-getter and you pay attention to detail. Are you looking for another job opportunity? And I was like, yes, get me out of here. I hate this place. So I was like, yeah, I am. And she said, okay, well, here's my number, contact me. And always be wary when people offer you a job, but don't immediately tell you what it is. It's probably a scam. Um, so I was like super, super, super hyped up about it. I told my boyfriend, I told my dad, I was like, oh my God, somebody's noticing my talent. I ended up uh, giving her a phone call and telling her I was interested. She was a really great looking lady, super well put together, super nice, just beautiful. Um, and so she was like, yeah, we'll have, a, we'll have an interview on this day. So I went to the interview and she asked me a bunch of questions that were kind of running around in a circle. She was like, what do you want to do and what makes you happy and what kinds of things can you offer to people? And I was just giving her the old run of the mill answers and probably my interview maybe lasted like 30 minutes and I still didn't necessarily have an idea of what I was going to be doing. But she kind of told me it was like financial planning and these are all the companies we represent. We're the official company of the NFL or something like that. And I was like, okay, this is really cool. Wow. I was being super green and like just so gullible. And so she said, we have a huge meeting. We do trainings every three, day, three times a week. It is $100 to start with us. Red flag. If anybody ever charges you money to work with them, it is a sign that it is a scam. Say it with me, scam. And she was talking about how much money she was making, how much money the people around her were making. And I was like, okay, I'm trying to get on all that, you know, broke college student, what's up? Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. My boyfriend, Grant, actually knew somebody that worked for Transamerica. And um, they were kind of cool from his job. And she was always telling him, yeah, I made my first $10,000 commission check today. Yeah, I made $5,000 over the last month and a half and all this stuff. And so when I found out that she worked for Transamerica, I was like, okay, I want to be on her team, not Sarah's team. So I wanted to be on Michelle's team, not Sarah's team because Michelle and I had somebody in common, which is my boyfriend. And so I was like, okay, you're vouching for this girl, babe. So maybe I'm just gonna assume that she's cool. She might be cool. I went to meet with her in her office and it was okay until she was like, pay this hundred dollars, it'll be totally worth it. Worth it, worth it, worth it, worth it, worth it, worth it, worth it. And I was like, okay, cool. She made me feel so confident that I was like, yeah, a hundred dollars isn't a big deal when I just quit my job and I don't have a hundred dollars to spend. I ended up going to another event and that was also cult-like. It was run by some guy whose name I don't even remember. And he got up on this podium and there were like 30 of us in the room and they were doing like this weird rah, hoorah, hurrah stuff where it just seemed like a cult. They were chanting some weird chant. There was like a sense of desperation in the room. I'm gonna list like all the things right now to let you know that it's a scam. One, you have to pay to get in. If you ever have to pay to play, it's bogus and you should walk away. They, it's kind of like a, insurance slash financial advisor position, but the training that you get isn't really good enough training to actually help you be an insurance agent outside of Transamerica. So it's like useless training. And that was like 180 bucks, which I didn't pay for all that. That was gonna end up being $300. Every time I talk to somebody about Transamerica within the group of people at um, Michelle's camp, the number kept getting higher and higher for how much it was to start. Uh, the third reason why it's a scam is you're not making any money until you get licensed. And this is a problem because 
the way that they get you to enter into Transamerica, it's literally a pyramid scheme, guys. It's a pyramid scheme and nothing more. And the problem with that is, is they want you to list 25 names of people that you know who might need their services, who might need a 401k, who might need retirement plans, who might need life insurance and health insurance and all these other sketchy things. They want you to list 25 of your most viable people. I don't even know if I know more than six people, to be honest. So the lady that I was working with, Michelle, was like badgering me and badgering me and pressuring me. She was like, okay, you have to know at least 25 people. Like, come on, I know you know 25 people. Like, I know you know 25 people. And she was just pressuring the hell out of me and it was making me nervous. And so I was just pulling names literally out of my ass. I didn't even, I was like, okay, my mom, my dad. She's like, yeah, your dad, I've seen him. Yeah, he looks like he makes money. So he probably has people that need what we do, you know? And the problem is with that list of 25 people is that they say that they're gonna use that list to help you train to become an agent like them. But what they're really doing is taking your leads. So they'll be like, oh, we're gonna go through all these 25 people, call them, see who needs our service. And if 15 out of 25 of those people need our service, we're gonna sell them that service. But because you're not licensed and this is a part of the licensing process and you can't get licensed until after you do this, the money is actually going to come to us and we technically can't split that with you. Hold up, what? Do you want me to give you a list of people that can be making me money so that you can make money and I can't make money off of them until I'm licensed, but this is a part of the pre-licensing program? Make it make sense. Sketch. The lady that I was working with, particularly Michelle, the second lady, was just crazy. My problem with her was that she was just continuously badgering me. And the first lady that I worked with, Sarah, she talked about people like she actually wanted to help them. Michelle talked about people as if they were just dollar signs. She'd be like, this is how many people we can get. This is how many people you need to get. Um, there is a conference, a huge nationwide conference with all the Transamerica people. And we go to it and it's in Vegas and it's mandatory for you to come. And the tickets are only like 200 bucks. So it's like totally worth it. It's like so cheap. It's cheap. It's like so cheap. And I was like, cheap to who, bitch? How, who, who is $200 is cheap to who? She was trying to swindle me into buying some sort of policy that would help her make money. And so they do this thing where it's like a needs analysis and they calculate how much debt you're in, how much money you make, um, how much money you wanna have coming in in retirement once you're turning 60, people that are dependent on you, your expenses, stuff like that. And then she was like, I want to help you create a savings plan. So what we're going to do is, excuse me, what we're going to do is you can allocate a certain amount of money a month to the savings plan. And that's how we'll get you started. And this is mandatory for all of our agents. Like in order for you to get started with the company, in order for us to really believe in you, you need to invest in us. And I'm like, what? She would say, we want to believe that you believe in us. So in order for us to know that you believe in us, you have to buy our products too. Because how are you going to sell our products if you don't buy them? And in my mind, I was like, I mean, that's kind of a good idea, but if I work in a Mitsubishi dealership, that don't mean I'm gonna have to drive a Mitsubishi. But, okay. And so she's like, how much money a month do you think you can put in this savings plan? Because she's gonna get commission off of it. And I was, she was like, $100? And I was like, no, like 25. She was like, 25? Okay, cool, we can do 25. But you know what, how about 50? I think we could do 50. 50 is good. So she wrote down 50 and I was like, okay, bitch, fine but it's constantly people shoving things that you don't want down your throat. They're always in your face. They're gonna steal 25 of your leads. They're talk they want you to harass your family and friends. It's like cold calling. It's not the same thing as like you working for an insurance agency and um, like a broker has too many leads or has too many clients and he gives those clients to you. It's not that at all. It's like you have to go out and find your own clients and what i just was like totally baffled by i guess it kind of makes sense but the percentage that they were taking was insane so they do this thing where if i become an agent i can get other agents underneath me and i'm always going to be making money from those other agents that makes sense but they were talking about like the split so michelle bringing me in if i make a hundred thousand dollars michelle's gonna get like 40 percent of that or 30 percent of that it was something fat it was like a big number and really crazy and it's off of all of my sales. You ain't garner these people. Like you didn't go out and scout. It's just a waste of your time. It's a waste of your money. And then how I know that it's really bogus and that they're not doing as well as they thought that they were expressing to me that they were doing. 
Um, like I said, none of them looked like they were doing well. After like two weeks of thinking about it, I was like, I'm not doing this with y'all. I don't have any interest in pursuing this career with Transamerica. Um, and she's like, oh my God, okay, well, if you ever change your mind, let me know and our doors will be open to you, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, okay, bitch, sure. And um, she hit me up, she texted me like three weeks later and was like, hey, um, I really wanna go ahead and pursue the leads on that 25 name list that you gave me. So is it okay if I pursue those leads? And I was like, no, it's not. And I told everybody to block your number too, so. I mean, I didn't tell her that, but the fact that she's calling me two weeks later to see if she could follow up on my leads is another red flag. That means she's not making as much money as she says she's making. It is a scam. I hope that I was descriptive enough with you all to let you know not to do this. Do not do this. Don't do this. If you guys have any more questions about anything, let me know in the comment section below. Send me a message on Instagram or yep, seems to be your only option. Bye.